Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hello, I'm Danita Harris, and here's a look at today's top stories. Starting today, Metro Health is adjusting its visitor policy as COVID cases skyrocket. Visitation hours will now be limited every day. Patients can only have one visitor per day, and that visitor must be 18 or older. Masks are required regardless of vaccination status. Cleveland Clinic and University Hospitals made similar changes to their visitation policies earlier this month. Right now, Tackle Health is offering a wide array of coronavirus tests at Cleveland Hopkins Airport. Nurses from the company say some travelers are paying up to $275 for a rapid test. And we're told some of the people aren't even traveling. They're just looking to get tested before Christmas. Our normal number is about 30 or 40 a day. This has increased to over 100 to close to 200 a day. Tackle Health is open seven days a week at Hopkins from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. The Greater Cleveland Food Bank says they expect to provide food to nearly 4,000 families ahead of the holiday, and that's up from the average 2,000 they've been helping in recent weeks. As we get deeper into the colder months, the food bank is anticipating the need to keep growing. With rising COVID cases and businesses shutting down once again, they're also concerned about the child tax credit ending, plus the program which provides the food bank with federal dollars to buy food. And so these next few weeks are really critical to our success from a fundraising standpoint as well. Uh, and it's even more so with rising food costs and then this, this drop in federal funding that we're anticipating. The distribution runs until 4 this afternoon, so if you plan to go, they do ask that you sign up online first. And as always, make sure your trunk is clear. All volunteers will be masked and taking extra precautions to keep everyone safe. They ask families driving through to do the same. Now for a look at your weather, here's meteorologist Trent McGill. Thanks a lot, Danita. And this is what it looks like after this afternoon and what it's going to look like all the way until about sunset. We're going to stay pretty cloudy. Once we get beyond sunset, we'll start to talk about clearing these clouds out of here. But as long as we have that wind coming over the lake, Lake Erie is going to be rocking and temperatures are going to be cold. I still got some snowflakes flying around, but I think the big story in addition to the snow is the cold 20s for high temperatures with wind chills in the teens. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.